Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with Elia, Janassa, and Ace. Last time we left off, we were preparing for our journey over to visit the Greybeards in Iverstead, which is all the way. And let's see if I can actually find the bloody place. I guess it's all the way over here on the opposite side of this mountain. It's going to be quite a long trip, so I've stocked up on food and arrows and the like. And I was planning to immediately head there in the morning after we've done our little stocking up. But it occurred to me that we have a little quest that's a little nearby that would be nice to check off the list. where we have to travel to the last known location of the wolf. Because we have recently joined up with a hunting guild in Whiterun, and one of the tasks they have given us is to track down a wolf that's been giving the people of Riverwood some trouble. So that's what I'm going to do here before we head off. And let's see. Here we are at its last known location, where I find a dead goat. Okay, what am I supposed to do with a dead goat? Uh, first of all, I will drop its carcass in the middle of the bloody ground. We're not getting anything off of this. Hunterborn may be acting up a little bit. Let's see. Uh, tweaks. Du -du 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 -du. I'm trying to find the option to give me the option for manual looting, provided that's a thing. It doesn't appear to be. I guess we field dress it. See if that does anything. And go through my usual motions. Skinning quest started. Most I don't in even Skyrim know what that means. Don't care for <laughs> that we're gonna be here for a little bit longer than I thought. I guess I'll be going through this motion now. Okay. Well, this wolf doesn't appear to be anywhere nearby, because I'm not finding one. That's annoying. I would have liked to have found my wolf and dealt with that before we headed off, but it's not going to happen, apparently. Uh, 
I have an idea about how I can address that, but that's going to have to wait probably until I am finished with Iverstead and the Greybeards. So first, I'm going to dismount and pop by the general store, because I have one thing I want to check out. Hello there, Lucan. Thank you so much. Some may call this junk. Yes, yes. Me, I, I need to check treasures. what you've got on you as far as books go. Just spell tomes. Mm. Bloody useless as far as I'm concerned. So now it's time for us to head out. And I'm going in the wrong direction. Off to a great start. Like, clearly, we are doing excellent. Speaking to a is overwhelming but now we have a destination to get to. Because I'm heading for Iverstead to meet up with the Greybeards. Seeing as it's quite obvious we're not going to be finding anything of, well, any interest whatsoever around here. Nothing new there. And I started to go in the wrong direction again. Well done, me. Well done, indeed. get galloping a little. And I'm back. And as you might imagine, we just had a crash to desktop. Been a while since I had one of those. So yeah, game just crashed on me. Oh well. And I'm heading in the wrong direction again. Face palm. <laughs> Let's get over here and start heading in the right direction. As we need to get over towards Whiterun. As I've made it my next objective to make for Iverstead and meet up with the Greybeards. Hopefully they don't mind that I brought friends along and aren't anti-dog or we're going to have words. But for now, we'll just head for our destination. We're peckish. I'm not actually bothered about eating right now. We'll wait until we're a little hungrier. But fortunately for me, I did remember to stock up on food and what have you for this journey, rather than just trying to wing it. Which would have probably resulted in our death. Knowing my luck, trying to wing it tends to equal death when it comes to me. We've got to find the right path so I can get on my journey towards Iverstead. Which is going to take long enough without me going the wrong way. Oh, what the hell. I'll cross. 
across like this. Ride horsey through the water into a wall of wolves. Have fun, guys. You get the wall of wolves, I get the shortcut. Oops. I should have probably gone the long way. If I had actually figured out it was a long way. And wasn't simply being an idiot. But now, Janas is caught up, and Ace should be following shortly. So we can just continue on our way, now that we've found the route again. This away. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to seeing the Greybeards in this. Because, despite how much I enjoy Skyrim, I've actually only completed the main quest twice. And one of those times was when I was doing a quote-unquote completionist run. Well, that is completionist for every type of character that wasn't a mage. So yeah, that was my character I did where I became head of the companions, the leader of the thieves guild, and ran the listener of the dark brotherhood. I keep forgetting what you call the person in charge of the dark brotherhood for some reason. I guess because I don't play assassin characters nearly often enough to remember that. But yeah, that was my first playthrough, and afterwards, I honestly felt kind of guilty for basically not focusing. And that playthrough was, believe it or not, what convinced me to get into role-playing with Skyrim. Because after the fact, I thought, hey, wait, should I be just completely slamming through every single quest line or just focus down on the kind of things someone with this particular personality would do? Most people in Skyrim don't and you can see what I went with based on how I'm doing these things. So yes, that indirectly led to a liar. I don't know about the inborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. Hmm. We're decent ways there, so maybe this trip won't be as lengthy as I thought, but still, nothing wrong with preparation. It keeps me from ending up dead, after all. Wolves, great. There we go. pick up some wolves and then I'm going to dump on my horse because we're doing a little bit of inadvertent hunting so the materials go on the horse and we can strip them for parts later hello ace nice of you to join us That would be a goat, who I'm also going to pick up. Here we go. 
go then. Wolf carcass, goat carcass. Get on the damn well horse. Or a well placed dagger. Both can achieve equal purpose. Now, Iverstead is this away. So just keep on keeping on, follow this road, and we should be there before too long. Who are those? Uh, is someone pushing me? Just a bunch of hunters, it looks like. Or not. Apparently they are bandits. I thought they were just hunters. Note to self, do not assume people in fur armor are hunters. It tends to be bad for your health. And Elia is still not very good in a straight up fight. Unfortunate. But we will now strip your gear from you. Take that. It's just a rabbit. Where did my horse go? I can see the battle lust in your eyes. Doom will surely come to any who cross your path. Where did my horse go? Well, it doesn't appear to be around, so we'll do it like this. And just keep on going. And that was interesting. Getting jumped by bandits about halfway to our destination. Not something I would particularly have chosen to have happen. Hey Ace, Janassa, can you kill the wolves for me? Please? Oh, fine. I'll help. Well, I guess you two had it, huh? Just took some time for Janassa to get off her horse. Now, I'll take the wolf carcasses. And slowly inch my way over to Horsey. Who, my horse really needs a better name, no doubt about that. Can't just keep calling them horsey. But now, we'll give you the wolf carcasses. Okay, so... So, well, well, suppose he isn't a bandit. That's nice. And yes, I am aware that I'm checking the map rather a lot, but quite honestly, I suck at navigation, so I'm probably going to be doing that. Just to ensure that I don't get horribly, horribly lost. Which I have a tendency to do sometimes. Oh fuck, that's a bear. As I was saying, I have a tendency to get horribly lost, both in real life and video games. Huh. Interested in that. Uh, 
dark water crossing discovered. That's nice. But I don't really care. I'm only here because I'd rather not fight a bear in the attempt to reach Iverstead. Fighting bears has a tendency to be rather unhealthy. Not to mention, people who do it have a tendency to die. At it. And go this way towards whatever is actually over here. And hopefully, uh, Janassa and Ace are keeping up to some degree. Because I'm not going to be stopping to make sure. And we are crossing the water in a horse. So I hope that doesn't inconvenience them. Now we're getting some stutters and a few lag spikes here and there. I'm not sure why, but I'll see if I can't address that in between now and next time. But, no promises. I can't exactly say I'm good at figuring out things like that. I mostly just wing it. Be wary for traps. If you spy one, try to get an enemy to trigger it. <laughs> oh, Janassa, you have some neat dialogue, I have to say. Though, granted, a very big chunk of the dialogue from her I think is so neat is actually modded in and comes from other NPCs. I don't remember the name of that mod, it's some sort of custom dialogue unlock thing. Which is about the worst way to describe anything in the history of ever, I know. Valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Uh, you're kidding, right? Look, do I look like I have any money? Nothing new. Yes, actually, you look like you're lousy with gold. I'm not gonna ask again. Uh, I don't have time for this. Go away. And I think this is an occasion in which a crossbow. <sighs> will prove advantageous. There you go. Elias' first crossbow kill. Nowhere near our last, probably. And I'm too lazy to actually look for the damn horse. So we'll find it like this. Now let's keep at it, and hope we reach our destination somewhere soon. Ugh, what is it with this place and wolves? I swear, it's like they're coming out of the damn walls. Or mountainsides, in this case. like our traveling companions have the wolves, so I can just keep on with the traveling. Because we need to make our way to Iverstead. Fastish. And I'm trying to head in the wrong bloody direction. There. And 
I'm still trying to head in the wrong direction. So right now, we're not actually on any sort of concrete path towards Iverstead. I'm just sort of bumbling my way there. And randomly running across something or other on the way there. Looting some wrecked fences and stuff. For whatever reason. So yeah. Wrecked fences. Add it to the list of things we've come across. Not like they actually matter though. There. I see a troll. Hey, troll. Meet crossbow. Janassa, damn it. Troll meet crossbow. Troll meet Janassa. Both work under these circumstances, and we have a damn wolf too. I don't need to crossbow its ass, fortunately. That one over there is now very dead. I'm just going to do a simpler way of taking care of this, because my horse is all the way over there. We're hungry and slightly thirsty. And I'm going to put this wolf carcass into my horse's inventory. Give me a second. I have a few other things that need storing. I can take the chance to butcher the troll, and I think I'll do that. But first, we want to get this elk. into storage where it's supposed to be on our horse. Can't do it from super long distance. I mean, I didn't expect that would work, but I wanted to give it a shot anyhow. Elk carcass. And here we have the corpse of a storm cloak. And a book. On heavy armor. Ancient Tales of the Dwemer Part 6. Another series to add to the list of book sets I need to complete before we start reading them. Note to the captain. What is this note, then? Captain, there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river northwest of the rift. We could use some more civilian support from that area for the war effort. But send a few men to investigate. Probably just a couple of wolves, so you'll only need to send at most two men. Happy hunting. So, storm cloaks, eh? Well, this looks like they'll be getting that support. Not too sure how I feel about that, though. Now, we're going to be... ...doing a little bit of butchering and such with this troll body. 
Which, have I mentioned how creepy trolls look with their s uh, pelts off like that? of it. How are we? Hungry, thirsty, and slightly tired. So I'll have a little bit of cheese. A tomato. A little bit more cheese. A little bit more cheese. And some water. We have more food stored up on our horse. And I can always... Uh, I can always top up my supplies at the inn once we reach Iverstead, so that's not a worry. You looking for something? Alrighty. We'll bump, dump all these ingredients. Well, there's more than a few things from here. Probably part of the overweight thing is the fact that, uh, well, we're tired, and that's reducing our stats. Plus, I have a ton of loot here that we need to store away. Need to later sell for some more gold, or septums, as it actually calls it now, thanks to my mods. Four forty-two p.m. And we are pretty close now. Iverstead is just around the corner. So, incoming Iverstead and incoming visit to the Greybeard, most probably. Ever tried taking care of children? Ooh, be a Here we are. We've made it. And so have the lag spikes. They still seem to want to happen. Speaking to a goddess is overwhelming. Alrighty. Just up the main road a little, I think. And the game just crashed. To the surprise of no one, probably. I mean, this is Skyrim, after all. So you kind of expect the damn thing to crash from time to time, and... Two crashes in a single recording session that we've gotten so far is not that bad, so I'm gonna let it go. But now... Now... I'm going to get off Nothing new there. my horse pretty soon, probably. And I'm also going to stop heading in the wrong direction. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not head in the wrong direction. We'll just head over to the bridge that leads up to the Greybeard. Let's see if we can't get an idea of how long this trip's gonna be. Huh, what's this? Not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. 
perhaps one day. Hmm. What's this? On your way to High Hrothgar, about to make a delivery up there myself. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. Anything you can tell me? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Kill you by uttering a single word. Now there's a power Elia wouldn't mind having. Could come in useful against the Thalmor, after all. Definitely. What? Time the to get hell? supplies out. A fight. What's going on here? What is going on here? I'm gonna kill you. You think you stand a chance? Okay. What is going on? is going on. Would someone care to share? We have a hostile something or other. That's all I know. Out with the crossbow then. Out with the crossbow. I can't manage that. Oh great, down the waterfall we go apparently. Temple White Arm. I don't know who you are, but you're dead. And you certainly don't need your things anymore. So I'll take the ones that are worth a damn. Did she try and murder someone? I don't get it. What was that all about? But Klimek, before whatever Asking just happened, way to I was Rothgar, having a little about to chat a with you. There myself. What kind of deliveries do you make? I mean, what kind of things do the Greybeards want? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Yeah. They do seem to be kind of the solitary type from what I could take, and aren't exactly very social. But what do you get in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Okay. Trouble is, so, my legs aren't what let me get this straight. I'm climbing the 7,000 steps. You climb 7,000 steps to give them food, and uh, you get an understanding. It doesn't seem like a very fair exchange. But, we're on our way up anyway, so we might as well help him out. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay. Be careful up there. Thanks so much.
Okay then. Well, this is an interesting little trip. 7 p.m. Took us about a day's journey, but I made it to Ivestra instead. We're at the foot of High Hrothgar, and I think we're gonna head up in the morning. This ought to be interesting. Nothing new there. Very interesting.